This is one of the nice things about living in a city like Bangkok. You fly 45 minutes and you end up in a tropical paradise. Hello! <laughs> Good morning! We are in a taxi on our way to Suvanavum and we are taking a flight to our Christmas break in Koh Samui and I thought it would be nice to share this with you guys so uh, I will show you a bit how the airport looks Already for a very long time uh, an airline that has a kind of monopoly on Samui which is Bangkok Airways so uh, Normally the prices of Bangkok Airways are much more expensive, but actually this time it's uh, it's not that bad. So we paid about five and a half thousand baht per person uh, for a return ticket, which with Bangkok Airways is uh, is pretty okay. So let's see where's the Bangkok Airways check-in. We don't really have luggage to check in but I think we need to get our tickets somebody can this is obviously a sign of the time the demons at the airport with the masks on so the line for the check is uh, pretty long but obviously it is the holiday weekend the last time we flew with Bangkok Airways to Koh Samui was uh, about three years ago and you will notice when we arrived there at the airport it's uh, a very nice special airport I think it's one of the nicest well, it's, I think it's the nicest airport in Thailand for sure and uh, it's probably one of the nicest ones in the world so we're on our way to the gate B3 so here I would say the crossroads where you choose between if you have to go to the B gate or the A gate there's a few little shops and a Lawson 108 where you can, uh, can get some snacks and drinks for a reasonable price yeah so I checked it we have a propeller plane eh? really So here's our gate B3 and that's our plane that's definitely not a propeller plane when we said that uh, sometimes Bangkok Airways still flies with props with propeller planes so Videla was a little bit worried about that so let's see if I can uh, give you guys a glimpse of the new terminal and anyway the Sun coming through here looks really cool So there in the back, you cannot see it really well, there in the back there is a terminal, that is the new terminal which is separated from this one, we are here at the domestic departures, so uh, the airport grew with quite a bit. So the flight to Koh Samui is only 45 minutes. And it's a bit cloudy today, but uh, on the island we should have a clear sky.
Samui Airport, they have these little, yeah, you would almost say like Disneyland wagons or trains that pick you up and bring you to the terminal. And you will see the terminal is, uh, it's almost like a resort. And this is why I called this the most beautiful airport in Thailand before. at the arrival hall yeah, and this is uh, just something different right it's very uh, special and you really feel like you're on a holiday okay so you have to show your vaccination papers yeah so to enter the airport you need to scan your QR code that is on your vaccination papers or you have to have a Thailand pass and uh, yeah so the, this is the conveyor belt for getting your suitcase oh, what I said this is just I mean if this doesn't scream holiday then I don't know what would be okay so we're getting a private taxi to our resort and it's 350 baht which I pay here no? yes. okay yeah so the last time when we went to Phuket we rented a, a car ourselves but here on Samui we will just rent a motorcycle and get around no need for a car here Yeah, I find this an extremely relaxed airport. But I said, it, it's almost like you're checking into the lobby of your hotel. Okay. okay. So the private car that we have is 350 baht. And you can also opt to go with the mini bus here. And that's 100 baht per person so we just figured out two people 200 baht so for just 150 extra we will go directly to our hotel our car is waiting smack one we wheel everywhere okay so this morning at eight o'clock we took our flight from bangkok it's around 11 o'clock now and this is one of the nice things about living in a city like Bangkok. You fly 45 minutes and you end up in a tropical paradise. Hello! <laughs> so this is our swimming pool and beach for the next four days. There in the distance you have Kopanyan Island and this is the Bangrak slash Boput beach. Okay. I hereby want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're gonna have fun. And I'm sure we will uh, enjoy ourselves here. I also hope that you enjoyed this update. If you did, feel free to subscribe, drop me a line, and see you guys in my next uh, video. Uh,